Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming Come on, closer. She's They're getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep in. Told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Is there just out of sight where you're most vulnerable it's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power
You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Runs far. Far deeper. she looking at? No going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down to the deep dark knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Hellheim. Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. His soul is in Helheim. His soul is still lives. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. 
but she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? <laughs> it works. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid a heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury!
Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. What is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Get out of my way! 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 
vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rocked. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. To Dillian, to his soul. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. Which will she choose first? One of them will kill her, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to die. Sort. The fire giant has answered. Be very careful, Sir. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast. He was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Surrounded you. She's not enough. 
still smell it. <laughs> A sweet, sickly stench of burning human flesh. <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind. Do you hear them too, Senua? Yes, yes. I heard their screams. And I still hear them now. To Hellheim is sealed to the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. When they first came to my lands, I knew enough of their tongue to beg for mercy. And they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, and slavery to many lives. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. Run! 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 Run!
answers you want. But you mustn't look away from the horrors it does offer. Because you cannot overcome suffering if you refuse to look at it. She get through. She'll need to find another way. Truth said. Find your own path. There's always another way. There's always a way. Find your own way. You just have to find it. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone.
Northmen of Hell worship the Devourers, and Sish were gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. Shed your tears. Raise your world to the crime! My world is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, will you see the world anew. No, I see nothing now. Tell me truth. How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Sirth. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. The fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. 
free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone. Away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise.
their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. Mm. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. <sighs> I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, Guide you in this life and the next. 
to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers. Your quest. Truth was a troubled man, a scholar turned slave. They tortured him, took him with them on their raids, drove him to madness, spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds, to my world. Senua saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. His tales of hell were true. Then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him. Until she too could see what he saw. ever died before? It's a serious question. When the illusion of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. And nothing is the same ever again. Senua has died before. And she will do so again. You can be sure of that. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the sons of Muspel will travel to battle in the ship called Nagalfar, the corpse ship. And when the sons of Muspel leave the ship and ride to battle, it will be as though the sky had split open, and Surt will lead them. Wherever he goes, flame will erupt before him, and fires will burn behind him.
now. This is nearly the end. The gate won't open. She can't get through. She Why not? The gate. She can't. Why? She's only done. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow, whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that.